Welcome to Impact Groups, everybody. A happy new year to you. What an exciting time it is, because it's 2017. Can you believe it? I'm 28 this year, and I know, I know, I look very good for my age. Thanks, mum and dad. I guess the turn of the year is always filled with possibilities. And I've heard this saying a few times, a new year, new me. I've seen this firsthand at my local gym, TGL. Uh, shout out to the boys down there. And I'm sure it's happening across the nation that suddenly there's a bumper crowd. There's so many more people in the gym. And I guess it's because they're taking up this new mantra of new year, new me. Somehow, as I've experienced, and I'm sure you know, um, that they all disappear during those colder months. Um, it's a bit harder to get out in the middle of the year. We witnessed this phenomenon with the 1001 New Year's resolution post on Facebook, and I'm sure you've seen these six pack abs, no procrastination, no procrastinate baking, let's save some more money. And then equally um, on news.com.au, you can actually see it on the articles that have New Year's resolutions don't work, do this instead. So regardless of what you think, each new year brings with it a sense of unbridled possibility, this sense of fresh air, this, 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 this thing where people can start new jobs or return to their jobs refreshed. It's a blank canvas, a clean slate, a fresh start, new beginnings, a new season, not really in Australia because summer starts in December and continues to January, but it is a season of unlimited potential. It's an exciting season to be in where we don't yet have words to describe what this year could be as it hasn't happened yet. So in fact, the script is ours to write. As I entered this year, I couldn't help but look back on the year that was. And across the Catholic Church, it was this year of mercy. And I recently went to um, an act of mercy, receiving forgiveness from God in the act and the sacrament of confession, which is basically a way of asking and receiving God's wholehearted mercy and love, and Him saying to us, I forgive you and I want the very best for you. And as I experienced this and I heard this saying of new year, new me, it um, helped me think about a few things. It got me thinking and it said, doesn't this sense of possibility or blank canvas or this um, new slate happen every time we experience God's mercy and forgiveness for us? Isn't it not like a new year after every time we seek God's love and forgiveness in whatever way we do it, be it in the quiet of our room or in a special way in reconciliation? Because God loves us so much and it isn't dependent on what we do or not do. He loves us inherently for who we are, deeper than we could even imagine. He forgives us instantly. And this should allow us to party like it's 1999. Yes, I'm a bit older. I remember the Y2K kind of bug or 2016 or 2017 or even in the future like it's 2020. And we know that each time we receive God's forgiveness, it's not just a new year, new me, but a new moment, new me. Because God's love and mercy helps us to have this new moment, new me, whenever or wherever it might be. Be it at New Year's, Christmas, Easter, or 3am in the morning, wherever you might be. Be it in the middle of a Macca's run or KFC run, if that's your, your preference. And we're backed up in the Bible, not so much about the KFC part, but about the stuff that um, God loves us and wants to forgive us and have this new moment, new me. And he says this in 2 Corinthians 5-17. to Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. And he backs this up in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And in the rest of the letter that, that is right by Paul, Peter is saying suffering is going to happen to this new community, just like it did to Christ. But turn to God immediately and you can change your ways. He implores them to leave their old habits and negative habits behind and be confident in a new way, much like our New Year's time as we see in the gym, as we see in our resolutions. So why wait? Start right now. You don't need to have an arbitrary time which starts next year. Begin the new you in God's mercy and abundance right now or whenever or wherever you need it. As we journey through 2017 and we get further and further away from that New Year's time or that celebration, and we invariably make those mistakes uh, as we forget our goals, as we forget our New Year's resolutions, we might eat a bit too much cake, we might prefer sleeping instead of going to the gym, and I'm guilty of that already, or to splurge on those shoes instead of saving. And we make those poor decisions that we know we could. Why do we have to wait for a new year to roll around, to have this new sense of possibility? Can we not celebrate it like it was New Year's every time we receive God's mercy and forgiveness? So why don't you and me start afresh this week, no matter how your year has started? Remember, 
God's mercy and forgiveness is always available to you. New moments, new you. New moments, new me.